Hey everybody, welcome to the Underrated channel, you or see on YouTube. Um, so let's talk about GTA Online, uh, like the criminal enterprises, that upcoming update. Here's, look, here is my personal review and uh, reaction, okay? So, um, a lot of good things, let will just knock this right off the park, right off, you know, right out of the park real fast, however you say it, <laughs> right, get the idea, okay. Um, Nerfing the Kyo Perico heist and doing heist, uh, when you do a heist, apparently, I guess, you have to wait long, and especially, especially, with, especially I guess, if you do it solo, from what I understand, with Kyo Perico, you have to wait longer, but here's the thing, um, you know, it's one of those bad and good things that it's a shame that people don't play the other stuff anyways, but I feel like, I don't know, I guess they should have just left it as is, but I'll tell you what, though, here's what's really cool is the selling, like, Apparently, you get to sell all your cargo and whatnot in private invite-only sessions. Now, here's an interesting thing. When doing it forcefully in uh, public sessions, it gave those players, I think, more of uh, maybe uh, an idea to maybe jump in and play with all kinds of people. And so, I seen on, on someone's YouTube channel, uh, it was TGG or whatever, um, that guy, I guess his YouTube channel. So this is like a little bit of an Easter egg. We got we got to promote him sometime on this YouTube channel. But uh, the gorilla icon, I think it's icon's a gorilla, right? But anyways, as far as I know. Um, anyway, like I think I'm pretty sure he mentioned how it would be like dead public lobbies. But in a way, I mean, I understand it's great, but at the same time, it's like one of those downfalls. Like, oh wait, because um, what if his players won't be immersed in? With it will be kind of definitely a lot lower. I mean, I get the idea. This it's it's awesome that the invite stuff's happening for real. It's one of those things where it's like that's awesome that's happening. It's like at the same time, oh crap. See, this is something that should have been done like way long ago. I mean, right off the bat, that way people would be more likely to go ahead and be in a public session. But and with the grind, here's the thing. Too bad things are so grindy because. Like, it, people are going to mainly focus on the grind and not really be in public lobbies. So I'm just saying, well, like, if you're into making new friends or fans and stuff like that, and and the idea of those people maybe jumping in and on the fun with his players, you know what I mean? So it's kind of a downfall in that sense. It might be a little bit deader, but, um, but hey, I mean, it's still good, though, at the same time, you know. You see, what I think they should have done is don't, you can't grief, you, um, like, Maybe um, these vehicles and stuff will be kind of ghost looking if you're selling something or whatever. Or you're not able to, attack. like, I think that'd be great if that was for the public lobby, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just saying, and that's the same with the Mark too. I think you're not able, you shouldn't be able to lock on NPCs and, I mean, players, but NPCs and stuff like that only, you know? That's how they could have nerfed it. But um, overall, you know, I mean, there's some positive and then there's, I guess, some negatives how we look at it. But you can still make money. Um, just so you know, um, honestly, you want my uh, honest opinion, man, like, y'all, of how to make the best money on GTA Online. Um, in my opinion, like, if you're doing the Kyo Perico, you know, how it is currently and stuff. I mean, before it changes, you know, I guess you could possibly do it in, within an hour, million, but... It's still, it's still a side cramp, and what I mean is like we could do just get a nightclub, wait a while, like whatever, sell stuff you may you'll get, as if you did many payphone hits, bonuses, and um, a Kyle Perico heist and stuff. Like basically, it's less side cramping because you have to do this, do that, and then do this and that, and then you could finally do the heist. It's less of a side cramp, and it's just something to think about, you know. And payphone hits are pretty good too, but. I think the most efficient, easiest way of relaxing, like a relaxing way, is just wait around with the nightclub and sell. Especially with this invite-only thing coming up. I mean, I think that's the easiest key of making money. Yeah, it's so probably obviously it'd be a little bit slower than doing the Cayo Perico in the current state, but just saying, less of a side cramp. You know what I mean? Honestly, but um. That's my advice. But anyways, this other stuff, stuff that's going to be added, uh, great. Uh, new content for the nightclub and other businesses, you know, in some sort of way. Nice, I think. The whole kicking people out, I guess, NPCs that are acting bad, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, from what I understand, right? So, um, and the payout buff of things are, is 
whatever, I guess, whatever that's going to include, is nice, especially with the, or nice, and the fi- heist finales of other, you know, heists, from what I understand, that's pretty cool, so, a lot of great stuff with this con- uh, update coming up very soon, so, my reaction is, uh, yeah, heck yeah, it's pretty good, but it's a little bit of bad, but sometimes I guess that happens, so, you know, I think it's one of the situations where it's good and bad, and it's just one of the decisions where I'll take a chance on it. Um, <laughs> that's all I really got to say, honestly, so, um, cool, so, yeah, see you later, oh, and the IIA missions or whatever, that was gonna be pretty cool, I don't know if it'll be like Lamar or Franklin or not, but I'll tell you what, um, the idea of it seems rad, see you later, alligator, peace, y'all.